at Ray Lee with Speedball Magazine. We are here at Performance Boat Center during the Lake of the Ozarks Shootout Week. And we are here with Myra Coyle, Rusty Williams of uh, Performance Boat Center, and the Super Stock Team, Performance Boat Center, Fast Diesel Fuel Systems. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's, What's up? up, bro? How are you? Good, good. You guys uh, have a crazy week. Uh, crazy is not even like the way to subscribe it. <laughs> uh, we uh, started probably last week, like even cleaning up the shop, getting everything ready, and it just full force. Uh, yeah. I mean, between, you know, I delivered a pontoon boat today. <laughs> on shootout week. I delivered a pontoon yeah. boat today. I know, I was laughing. I go, do you, you sell a boat today? And he yeah. goes, yeah, he wouldn't even talk to yeah. me. Yeah, delivered yeah. a South Bay. Wonderful boat, great boat, but yeah. didn't think I was going to deliver. Does that have a Mercury Bay. engine on it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mercury 400. A single? Perfect. A single, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's respectable, right? Well, yeah, exactly. But wait, wait, wait. Is it a pontoon or a tritune? Same thing. <laughs> Not a pontoon. Not a it, It's a tune. <laughs> but, so, yeah, talking about how it comes up. Rigging teams been working their butt off on the performance power boats, 360, 420. Rusty's been selling MTIs like crazy. We've been delivering a couple of those. Yeah. Uh, Scott Favre's 42 with the uh, five 450s last week. Brett, Brett sold. So yeah, so that happens after the Sheboygan race. And so basically everybody sees the fun stuff, but not a day off since Sheboygan. The, tra yeah. the day, the travel home day, Monday, was the last day off. That was two, almost two weeks ago. So, right. Yeah. yeah. Well, we had we had uh, Michigan City, and then back to back Sheboygan, which we came home, worked a few days, drove to because they're close close races too, so you don't get to fly. Yeah. So we drove down, drove back to Sheboygan, raced Sheboygan came back and just got straight into shootout so yeah and then next week is st petersburg and then next week is cumberland yeah, yeah. you guys are going to cumberland oh yeah Every I, year. I might bail yeah i'm a detroit lions fan and the chiefs and the lions play at the chiefs oh nice at arrowhead right probably gonna have to make that that'll be the, the first time i've missed uh lake cumberland probably seven years i'd oh, say wow. yeah yeah so, but, to, so tonight is the uh, the performance boat center welcome party, right, for the for the shootout week and great turnout. We just had the fireworks uh, display. What what what's all involved in putting this shindig together? Well, yeah. this originally started at Mark's house. Uh, just like, hey, Thursday night is kind of a lull night of the shootout because we have Wednesday night, which is a street party. Uh, Friday and Saturday is like Tipper Cat Fest at Camden, you know, night. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, it was just kind of, a, kind of an off night, so Mark had a party at his house with just direct customers. And then obviously we built this place, so then the following year we're like, hey, let's have it here at Performance. And back in the day, he used to supply the booze and the food. But I remember. Uh, year, year two of having We'd be broke. Yeah. Look at this, people. <laughs> <laughs> Fireworks yeah. display was probably the profit on it, one of these boats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so year two, we. Uh, it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. Back in the day, we used to have the auction here as well, and that was a big success, but... but. Well, you guys are always so supportive to us, you know, Speedo Magazine. We come here every year on Tuesday, and you guys bring us just the best of the best boats and that we get to run and photograph and feature yeah. in the magazine, and this year was no exception uh, with some beautiful stuff you brought out. Ah, you got... I, I came into the Cove on Tuesday morning, after testing a boat, I don't even know what boat I was in. But Scared. you look, you look at the docks, yeah. and you're like, look at it. It's like, it's like going in the Miami Boat Show. For sure, you know? yeah. yeah, it's Absolutely. that that good. Yeah, just on a Tuesday right. uh, at Redhead, and yeah, it yeah. blows my mind. <clears throat> good stuff. Amazing thing is behind the scenes too is uh, our rigging crew, Greg Helmer, and all of our other guys. Yeah, uh, they were literally worked. Until, I don't know, probably midnight the night before and multiple oh, other nights. For weeks. For weeks. Yeah. And then uh, uh, the, day of the, the day of the event, they're still finishing up rigging on our uh, 360. 
uh, and, and made it. Yeah, Un uncovering it, have detail guys cleaning it and everything else, and launched it, right. and ma still made the photo shoot. I mean, it's just unbelievable how much our guys work so hard. It's yeah, no, de sure. dedicated. Dedicated. That's it's unbelievable yeah. when you get somebody that's so dedicated to to produce something so good, just like Mercury Racing or you know all all their people that work so hard. Right. You know. Uh, and, sure. and your guys. Yeah, my guys too. Yeah, yeah with, with yeah. Carter and Tommy yeah. and, and Jay. I don't know and, about Carter, but Tommy, <laughs> Tommy works his ass yeah. off. <laughs> Carter, like, Carter likes the party, I guess. Yeah, I mean, what? you know, hey, Carter, you got your, hair what? like that, you Car never know. Carter, oh. what's your favorite, like the Vegas bomb or something like that, right? <laughs> yeah, he's a Vegas bomb. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do a nod on the camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this maniac ordered a round of Vegas bombs for us and the MTI family crew. Uh, on Bob Kaiser's 200 foot yacht, where, where they're serving them with like white gloves, and she's like, "What's a Vegas bomb?" She had to look it up because he ordered a Vegas bomb. Ah, bomber. nice. I like. That's why I like it. <laughs> All right. I so, thought his name was Bait for like two years. Well, that's that's yeah, where Bob always at. Yeah. That's the name of that. <laughs> but one of the boats that you brought us is is a big milestone for Performance Boats Center and Performance Power Boats. It's the uh, P420, the very first one. Yeah. So, Tell us about that. Yeah, it went in the water uh, just the other day, and you know, I get I'm a little skeptical. I, I try to play the I don't know underdog or or the person that doesn't try to hype stuff up too much. Yeah. Because if you hype it up a lot and it isn't that good, then you look like a dumbass. It's tough to so, be expensive. Yeah, yeah. Hype it up so high. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, under promise, over deliver. Yeah. I, I would. Right. I mean, I, I hear that over time, and you know, thank goodness Missy took me in. You know, <laughs> I, but no, but yeah, but the same thing with with this boat. Hey, C Carter, go over and, and just take a little, just yeah, a little we'll bit. Get, we'll get it in a second. Yeah, but yeah. what I'm saying is, is that it's a beautiful boat. We got, we got a chance to photograph it, run it, uh, and chase it, and it's an amazing boat. Rusty, what are your thoughts on it? Because you have you got to drive it yet? Finally, yeah. Today, <laughs> yeah. I was wondering. Somebody said that when it went out, no, I, I had to go out and take the Monster Energy people out and uh, Tyler Miller and and Lindsey Miller and the whole Monster crew. And this? Yeah, yeah. I took them out today. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They wanted a real driver, not <laughs> you know. I had to run the throttles, you know. Oh. But uh, anyways. I went over to Tyler's house today. Hey, how, how did not running the throttles work for you with Bill Piper? <laughs> yeah. Exactly, that's why I had to run the throttles. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyways, uh, went and picked, took up the monster people. Sorry, today. Bill. Love you. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is the first time I ran it, we ran down to, uh, I don't know, Margaritaville and circled around or whatever. Right when I was pulling out of Tyler's Cove, uh, a Outer Limits was running and, a, and a, a Doug Wright was running. I ran up next to him and was able to you know, run past him or whatever. And, and uh, you know it's got to be, it was uh, Jeremy Tichita, so you got to know he, he was probably oh, pushing it a little bit. That guy will, yeah. he will push it. If he's racing anybody, he, yeah. he, he thinks every time out is racing. It's a race, yeah. yeah. But uh, it ran amazing, amazing. I, I loved it. And I circled around, and they're like, "Man, you did really good." Good. I was like, "Yeah, it's my first time riding. It's a pretty nice boat." And there, the girls' eyes light up, and I'm like, "All right, Tyler, your turn." And Tyler ran it, and Tyler was blown away. Nice. You know, Tyler's had a lot of boats, and he, yeah. he, he was impressed. You know? I didn't even know Tyler ran it. Yep. Yeah. This wow. is the first time I found out right this minute. Really? You trying to scoop in on my guy? <laughs> That's some bullshit, Ooh, uh, bud. Damn. Yeah, he was throttling hey, and I was matter, steering. Matter yeah. of fact, I just saw Jess over there in the yeah. service department. She's looking pretty good in that white dress. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, you're yeah, welcome. Yeah, I, saw, yes, I saw our producer miss it. She had to take your oh, kids home because they yeah. were... Oh, me, I, yeah. I'm like, hey, you want to stay around for the podcast? And she's like, I got kids falling asleep on me. So, I was for, you that, for you that don't know... I don't know, understand why shootout starts or school starts before shootout because it'd be <laughs> way better if school started next Tuesday right. instead of this Tuesday because my kids are dead tired from all the events they they don't have to go to but they want to go to. Right. And uh, 
I, I got a halfway house at my house because I heard you got a house guest. Yeah, Sean Long from uh, Florida, uh, Marco, and Pittsburgh. You know both, and he, he's like, man, this is like a halfway house. Obviously, he has a big old house on Marco with just him and his wife. Yeah, and he comes to my house with three dogs, house guests, four kids. And he's like, wow, you don't even need coffee in this mofo. You know, that's what it feels yeah. like. I, I spent Thanksgiving with Myrick uh, uh, last year, and, and we hang out a lot. But his house is full on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not taking a hey, nap oh, yeah, This house. thing has sound deadening oh. in it. My house needs sound deadening in it. I swear to God. Oh. Between we were, we were, dogs barking, kids wanting to play football inside, <laughs> you know, oh, yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. They were doing a full uh, WrestleMania on yeah. the couches when yeah. we were there for barbecue. It's like, yeah. <laughs> off the top. Yeah. Damn. Which, uh, now that I'm used to it, no other way. Yeah. But, but you well, know. It's good stuff. So, what's next for you guys with the Superstock team, Performance Boat Center, Fast Diesel Fuel Systems? We got our ass kicked last week. Went St. Petersburg, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We well, need to redeem ourselves. So what we happened? Need to do something. What happened in Michigan City and uh, Sheboygan? Michigan City, we ran all right. Bad start. Got yeah. hosed down. Okay. Ran okay. Uh, Sheboygan. I I don't know what's what was wrong there. Yeah. I we, I still like. We. Uh, if you could put a bubble above my head that's empty right now, yeah. that would be it. Yeah. That's how bad it was. Yeah. We went to try to take off and. You know, boats came in, you know, probably came out of the water a little bit right right where it's taking off. Yeah. And the waves are big. And uh, uh, just bad start. And then, so I let out because we're just getting hosed down and you can't see, can't you know, see. four I, and I'm not And I'm not talking about not see for a second. It's like not see ever. Yeah. No kidding. For yeah. like a minute. Because yeah. you just kept getting oh. spray in the If you get a little spray on your window, just imagine going down the highway. Yeah. And you it's a light rain and you know I'm a windshield wiper. This is a heavy rain, no windshield wiper. And oh, by the way, you're eight, twelve white. How many I don't even know how many yeah. boats were there. The, yeah. the biggest thing is like usually when you get sprayed down, you're in relatively okay water and you know the water. Yeah. But we're getting sprayed down and and the waves are this big right you know so you can't just stay in it or like you don't know like so, what are you gonna do like so, flip so it over because you can't see wreck yeah. wreck on the uh you know and that happens to guys unfortunately yeah but i don't i mean the thing is we gotta i don't have a checkbook to fix it yeah. you know so we would be the ones that have to fix it and that's the last thing that i want to do Feels like we've been working on the boat a lot. Yeah, yeah. We 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 left the race with zero issues to the boat. Granted, you know, we finished the race. We got dead last. Everybody knows that. But uh, we didn't get dead last. Well, we did. Out got of running boats. Out of running boats. Uh, out of running boats got dead last. Obviously, you know, people stuffed. People yeah. broke. People it was rough. had issues. It was rough. Our boat. It's 100% okay. We're ready for the next race, and we'll, we'll go on. Yeah. You know, this year we've already had we broke in uh, Sarasota, uh, and this when you when you have those issues, it's hard for a national championship. So now, our next thing is finish the next two races, do well, and win Key West. You know. Right. Yeah. So you guys have won championships together. You guys have have really synced up together well in the cockpit, right? So interesting turn of events for this week you guys are running the dirty duck badass 438 skater with big big horsepower tell me about that the horsepower is crazy carson brummett can build an engine i'll put it to you that way <laughs> brummett yeah yeah out of pasadena yeah. california yeah which I think it's the first boat I've ever been in that had a Carson Brumman engine in really? it. Oh, wow. Yeah. There. And uh, so far, I mean, great running engines. Idle well, yes. run well. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's on, it was on e, E85, yeah. hard to say, uh, originally. 1,650 and, horsepower, supposedly. Yeah. Yeah. 
1650 well, SI. Originally. That was originally, it. Yeah. And he said, yeah. You know, it, it's funny when I when I text him and uh, he says, yeah, put E90 in it and flip the switch and it'll go to 2300 SI. And you're like, what? That much of a gain? And, Just by flipping the switch and putting different fuel. Yeah. Uh, I, obviously, Slug Hefner, you know, I've known Slug for probably 20 years, and uh, great guy. I want to do good for him. He needs to be, buy more boats through Performance Boat Center <laughs> so I don't get any grief for running right, his yeah, boats. Yeah. But, uh, but he, uh, great guy. Love him to death. The other day, he actually said he was having a hood ornament put on the boat. And I go, man, Slug. You're all about making her look good. And he says, he goes, Myrick, the show starts as soon as you leave the house. And I was like, <laughs> that's a pretty good lie. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, pretty good lie. Show starts as soon as you leave the house. So hopefully we can put on a show for some people this weekend at the, uh, at the shootout. But when you feel the power that that boat has at if we can get the turbo lag out of it, because you hit it at 40 miles an hour, it takes about 10 seconds before it comes to life. But once it comes to life- 10 seconds, wow. Yeah, I'm like, li literally, it, it feels there, like you haven't moved the throttle. There's a lag in there, and you, everybody will be able to see it. When that rooster tail goes up is when they kick in, but we're hoping that we can time it, you know, accurately. Because you can't hit it too early, because right. then you're going to defy. Because then you're going to so, lift, and it'll be a terrible run at that point. Yeah, yeah. So we're we're hoping for good results, but if if it, if it hits at the line or at the area, and it goes, it's going to be a good run. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's 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 enough to where I'm like this when I get like half an hour later, I'm still like this. No kidding. From the adrenaline. Yeah. And you know everything that gets. Get, like we were talking about the 200 mile an hour club stuff. Right, yeah, yeah. It's exactly the same thing. It's, it's like, you would, we actually, I don't know, we were going 160, 170, and the hatch lifted off. It's like, boo, 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 boo. It's like the vacuum going over the canopy nice. is so strong that it lifts the hatch off the boat. That's gnarly. Yeah, it's gnarly. And you're talking about a four point hatch. And it's like, you talk about, shit your pants yeah, yeah. you know you're like right. what happened you know it's like because there there isn't enough time to do anything but just hold on at that point yeah. it, like back to the beginning like we, we went out and ran it in that 1650 mode yeah. just to see if it hey does it get it on plane does it do this does it like it does it run and it didn't and, go great it, it didn't, didn't go, it didn't great, go great and it, the power was unbelievable but we put it in this next mode the e90 Lifted and, the drives up three quarters yeah, of an inch. And, and switched props. And put bit, four, pr four pitches lower. Yeah, yeah. But got jumps up on plane. We're like, oh, that's awesome. And then, and then you know, watching pressures, temperatures, and everything else like that. And he's like, all right, let's do it. And I lay into it. And then it pulls so hard, I lift back up. He goes, <laughs> holy moly. I was yeah. like, all right, <laughs> now you ready? I said, yeah. holy shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I, and, and, and he's like, all right, maybe we should get lined up a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because before I it mean, was kind of uneventful. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, like, you know you got a lot of power behind it, but then we're like, oh, oh, oh. I always call it the giggle factor. Because yeah. you're like, holy shit, this thing has got it. You know, uh, yeah. It, 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 yeah. It's the hardest thing I've been in that pole. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. So, so you guys have, have tested quite a bit and ran some numbers, and you told me you guys have already hit like yeah, we're 180. On, yeah, we've been 188. It's the fastest we've been. Uh, but this, this, uh, but the thing is, like we talked about before, you don't want to test at 200 plus. No, of course not, right? It's not like you want to hang out up there. Right. You know what I mean? And you, uh, don't, you don't have a close course like, or anything like that. No, so, yeah. no. no. Actually, a pontoon, a pontoon boat pulled. A pontoon pulled out from us at 180. He was sitting there in the middle of the lake. And we're all like, I actually thought he was part of the group that was out to watch us. Because every time you idle out, yeah. there's like, hey, there's, you know, Slug comes out in his boat, the center console. And then, you know, a few other boats are like, they can tell what's going on. Right. Even though you haven't told them. 
Yeah. And they're like, uh, well, let's watch this. Look at these dumbasses, you know? And and then a pontubo is sitting in the middle of the lake and you think that he knows what's going on. And you're like 181 miles an hour. And he's like, starts to get on plane. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, and, yeah. and then, yeah, but it's crazy how quick they slow down. Right. It really is. Yeah, I mean. Well, speaking of that, I mean, crazy thing about that boat, the 438 skater, Carson Brummett, and just Dirty Duck, it's red and white, so if you guys are watching the shootout, can't miss it, because it's going to be loud and loudy. Uh, loud and rowdy. <laughs> Not loud and loudy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, what have you been drinking? What's in yours? I got Monster in mine. Yeah, yeah, Monster in mine. Yeah, Monster in mine. But uh, it's going to be loud and rowdy, and uh, you're going to be putting up big numbers. So watch for them to do some stuff. And, you know, American Ethanol, eight-time uh, Top Gun ch champion, going for their ninth. They've got, oh, they kind of uh, have a, a, an odd setup going on this year, I don't know if you guys heard. Yeah, I, I, I've seen some videos, yeah. but Don, Don Uncle, don't count him out. No, never. Hey, no, never. He, he might be quiet and soft-spoken, yeah. but... You don't become the however many times. How many times he won it? I won it. I won it with him as the owner one time. I was just dummy behind the wheel like right. normal. I don't but, know about how many times he's won it total, totally, but he's won the last eight years in a row. I mean, hands down, no yeah. competition. Favorite. He's a favorite. They're and, still the favorite. And he's awesome. Unless that thing falls off the trailer on the way there, he'll be he'll be the ninth. Yeah, well, yeah. he's already on the, on the lift at, at Captain Mom, Yeah, so. so yep, he's got it. <laughs> it's already there. But yeah. <laughs> Ours is still in the storage building with the water lane. Hey, we're gonna boat it on boat it up there. Uh, nice. We're gonna drive it up there, yeah. So Rusty, you said this first uh, first time you've run something that that powerful. No, Are I you excited I, I ran our old race boat. Right. Uh, so my uh, my uh, top or my top speed is 176 in the shootout. Nice. So that's my goal, beat 176. Yeah. So hopefully 180 yeah. plus. And that's what I tell everybody. I go, I'll be happy with anything north of 180. Yeah. Because Slug has given us a fast boat. I actually was laying in bed last night and I saw Slug talking 200 on there. I'm like, what? <laughs> that's I was what like, he told me, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. It's what should blow everybody's mind is three quarters of a mile is not very long. No. Yeah, it's, it is not. Comes up quick. <clears throat> yeah. But I don't think uh, Slug is one and done either. So, you know, we just got this boat, what, a month ago? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, give it time. You yeah. never know. Well, all right. Well, wanted to thank you guys for putting all this stuff together, especially our boats. Going back to this uh, performance power boats, you guys are super proud. So what'd you think of it? I liked it, yeah. yeah. What did Tyler think of it? He like it? He's blown away. He yeah. said, wish it was red and wish it was for sale. <laughs> it's those 500s, yeah. Remember with that, that big a boat? Yeah. It really uh, makes a difference. And I think we have the owner of the boat standing right here. Yeah. Hey, Brent. Hey, Brent. Hey, Brent, how are you? Good. We got Brent Medley, who owns this uh, beautiful Look at uh, uh, you don't have a firstborn shirt on. I've seen them all weekend. Uh, they didn't give me one. Right? Ah, <laughs> that's some bullshit. I don't have one yet either. You have one? No. So all the guys that have been in the boat don't have one, yeah. but everybody else on the street See, has one. one. Yeah. yeah my wife. Yesterday, he was like, look what all the staff at Roxy's is wearing. Karen said, you know, where's mine? You know, he said, you got some. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. So tell us about. Uh, about the boat and uh, what you think of it? Uh, the boat's awesome. Um, Brett was telling me he was going to roll out this uh, 420, and I was looking at a building a 36, and and I was like, "Really, you're going to do a 420?" He was like, "Yeah, let's let's do it." So you know, we hopped on board. I've you know been boating on this lake for years, and yeah. uh, had probably a little, 20 years, right? Yeah, you know, yeah. my last but, boat I had a little 318. Skater that yeah yeah struggled in this water down here and uh, we took this thing out Saturday and what four foot cruising yeah. wake and it just stomped it. So 109. Was, we had to drop yeah. we had to drop oh. the inches a little bit yeah uh, because of water pressure sure uh, and but we at one time we had seven people in the boat and 
we're able to run pretty hard. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It's really amazing. So tell me your first impressions when you first saw it and then when you first ran it. Uh, I was just, just blown away. The fit and finish is just incredible. Yeah. Like second to none. Like, I've just never seen anything anything like it uh, we got a lot of guys that care so yeah, that's nice yeah, for sure yeah. and, you know, especially I have... Greg freaking Jared Jared just came on Jared's trying his butt off yeah and I had lunch with Ryan Schwartz and owner of Cutting Edge Interiors who did oh, that entire right yeah and, and Ryan's unbelievable it was good work yeah so yeah, anyway. it was awesome to have all the input in I you know swing by every week for the last you know, yeah. several weeks since well since they uh, got it here, and uh, uh, yeah, it's been. N no, Noah has been putting his hard work into, and the whole paint shop that we got new. Uh, John uh, actually came from another uh, place that was helping out, and he came in at the end and helped out. Yeah. But the paint shop, I mean, it, there was a point in this boat that we thought we were going to be a white boat wrapped. Oh really? Yeah. So. But when you go to a meeting with Mark, he's like, nope, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, and I, I didn't think you guys were gonna get it ready yeah, in time. You know, I'm yeah. like, there's no way they put this thing together in what, like, when you got it up here, how many six weeks? weeks? Six weeks. I was yeah, like, six no weeks, uh, painted. Yeah, so all the guys in the paint shop, kudos. All the guys in rigging, kudos. I, I get a lot of credit that is not deserved because I'm the last one with it. Uh, but those guys put in the hours, especially Greg and his crew, and yeah. the paint sh and Kyle Draves and his crew and all the paint shop. But yeah, I just want to give the guys their no, their props. Yeah, yeah. Because you yeah, like, say you leave the shop at seven o'clock and you think you're working late, and you go by rigging and they're still That's there. Fresh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you get there the next morning at eight o'clock and their cars are already yeah. there you're like man you yeah. know that that's it's dedication it is yeah. and it's love it is love. i mean it's, it's love. passion of everything not right? not even yeah. just for the customer but for the product yeah so anyway congratulations on your new boat thank you Brent, we look forward it. hey it's i want good. to talk about it more oh yeah talk about it some more. i want to talk yeah, about please, it please yeah so so first time out yeah rough it was a saturday right yeah saturday last saturday and we pull out of the cove, and Mark's there with us, following in the 42B, because he wants to see. Yeah. And uh, well, I think I said to, I, I'm dumber than shit, so I say something like, hope it gets on plane. <laughs> you know, that like, literally, I think, was my line. And everybody's like, well, yeah. I was like, yeah, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It like, just hit start, the water. Yeah. yeah, start the engines. I'm sitting over there programming the vessel views, like, fuel and all that stuff yeah. low low fuel pressure alarms going off you know and he he likes to be part of it yeah. you know and so because you know a lot of money tied up in it you know what i mean right, absolutely. so obviously i'd want to be just like him and your your program is like we got to do it now or we'll never do it and then the fuel the fuel uh, level will be off and all that yeah. stuff so then you go out and everybody that was part of it wants to go for a ride and you're like okay well and it's saturday on lake of the ozarks so and then you go out and everybody goes how fast they go you're like 109 and they're like what you know <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. that's what yeah. they say and you're like three four foot yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 so th then 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 it comes to play so he had to go home for graduation or baptism yeah, my nieces. my nieces were getting baptized, so yeah. I had to get home now. Yeah, yeah. So, so he went home on Sunday. Guys, fit, like, little love on yeah. it. Monday, messing with uh, lower units, drive heights, stuff like that. Guys doing a little work. Tuesday morning, 7 o'clock, fog comes in, you know. Yeah. So we're sitting there twiddling our thumbs like, man, it hasn't been foggy for two months, you know. Yeah. And, uh, but it was also, like, 90 degrees at... Or yeah, I think we, it was 82, de 82 degrees at like 6 o'clock yeah. when I got up. Yeah. So then you get to the shop, the sun comes up, burns it all off. It's like 90 degrees by 9 o'clock. We go out, set a 34s on it, which I was really skeptical if it would pull. And I, and, it, and he ordered them. I, I ordered 33s with Johnny, yeah. Johnny Bauer, to 
Just because so we want a bigger number than that. Get order 34. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I got vetoed. The guy that supposedly knows it all gets vetoed. <laughs> they go bigger. And uh, well, you had that set of 36s sitting in the shop. Yeah, we were talking about that. And he said, Oh, there's no way to pull the yeah. 36s. Yeah, well, we went ran we the 34s. A, we need a 24 foot boat for 36s. You well, know, we ran the 34s. Come back, Mark yeah. said, throw the 36s on it. Yeah, I yeah. actually pulled them up to the justice. Limiter. Justice yeah. said it. No kidding. Yeah, he goes. So 126, right? 126 with the 36s. 34s. The 34s. 34, the 34s is 126. 126 on the rev limiter. I'm like, woo, that's <laughs> nice. That's yeah. nice, you know, because you go out in a boat and you don't know. Right. You know, with a new design, right. bottom, yeah. rear, yeah. Uh, yeah. a lot of stuff on the back first containing the yeah. air. Firstborn, yeah. So, 126. We come in the shop and I'm like, we need a, we need a set of 35s. Justice goes, the set of 36s just came in from uh, Chris Williams uh, from our sh down down south shop and and I'm like nah and I was like well you know actually fuck it let's put them on you know <laughs> yeah and, and it was just as justice comes out <laughs> spit I'm spitting Ju justice comes out afterwards because we pulled him to 130 on the uh, rev lever on the oh, rev lever and I was like. I come out and Justin goes, how's that go? I go, 130. This guy, you talk to Justice about propellers, don't think he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I swear to you. He's like, look what I did. You know, King Dingling kind of stuff. You know? <laughs> and so then we went down. Sean Trento was kind enough to let us borrow a set of uh, 35s off his 44, and we pulled them to 128. And we ran a lot that morning. Yeah. We learned a lot about the boat. Yeah. He, he drove it to 126, 127, and uh, maybe 128. What you do yourself? Uh, we had the... 35s on, I think. 30, uh, the 34s, right? It was yeah. 126. You went I'm sending videos of yeah. that, you know? Yeah. They're pretty cool. Well, that uh, was all. I mean, that thing is so well-mannered. You ran the 34s to 126. And we got, I handed it over to him you know, immediately. Like, he never said, drove he said, the you boat. Want, never, you want to drive? And I'm like, oh, I'm like I'll be it. lucky to get this thing to 120. Mark's bag of tricks. Well, man, 126. Yeah, Maybe. exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. So that was what was exciting to me to hand it over to, to Brent and then send a video to Mark and Brent going, look, it's yeah. not, you know, yeah. it's not like we're downwind holding our mouth right you know yeah you know all this stuff because sticky flat yeah it yeah. was no wind and i mean hot humid yeah. it's elbow yeah sweat dripping I, I i told him when we were leaving the cove with mercury racing I, well they got a new humidity sensor on these <laughs> things somewhere see if those work yeah i was like we're gonna put it, it to the test <laughs> yeah it must have been, been working yeah. because windshield's got water dripping off of it i was like whatever that humidity tensor thing is that it, it's going to be put to work today yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what i thought yeah. no what a, what an amazing boat like uh bob tegan and i ran it the, or the other day and uh just everything you've been about in it. it yeah i haven't even talked yeah. to you about it you no. like it well so i was in it just ex I, we didn't uh i i sent a model out with him oh. for the glamour shots so wow, you're beautiful. welcome. So, but uh, no, it's such a beautiful boat. Just exploring it. Would love to run it with one of you guys sometime this weekend. At this point, get some numbers out of it if possible. Uh, but anyway, congratulations, Brent, on, on a beautiful Appreciate boat. It. And uh, look forward to it. it's 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 got some uh, spotlight on it at the shootout this weekend. Yeah, I understand. It's awesome. All the press it's getting. Yeah, we're yeah. very proud of it. Yeah. Isn't it running? Uh, Rusty, isn't it running like something special during the shootout? Yeah, it's gonna run with the plane in the shootout. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the. Hey, who's doing that? Me or you? Rock, paper, scissors, or what? <laughs> I know. Have you drove it yet, Russell? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Nice. I think it should be. I think it should be me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I mean, yeah. I'm thinking a Hall of Famer should be in there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when you're that old, you might as well be. 
we run those 34s in the shootout? Is that what we're going to run? Yeah, we're going to try. We're going to try. Yeah. yeah. So that, anyway. that's what I love. So, Brent, uh, Brent congratulations on a Thank beautiful you. new boat. Hey, thanks for being trustworthy enough to use your money to build our first one, basically. <laughs> well, you guys are great yeah. to work with. I appreciate everything. Thanks, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Anyway, um, Brent Medley. Owner of the new performance power boats, first Be born. First born. Yeah. So, Rusty Williams, Myra Coyle, bros, look for them to run some big numbers at the shootout this weekend, and check out the first born running with the uh, the stunt biplane this weekend. We'll have all the coverage for you in Speedboat Magazine. This has been Ray Lee with Myrick, Brent, Rusty on the Boats and Bros podcast. Make sure you uh, like, share, follow, and rate. Thanks for watching. This podcast is powered by Speedboat Magazine. Subscribe now at speedboat.com for nine power-packed current issues a year direct to your mailbox.